Welcome to Germany vs. USA. Many of you requested this topic, education system. Here we go. First of all, <laughs> education. There's one or two things to talk about, isn't there? Such a huge topic. I mean, we did a little, we did some research, and it's basically like a never-ending story if you get into it. I think let's just jump in and how. I mean, just from the beginning, where do you start? Well, first of all, in Germany, it's very, very, very like different, like from state to state. I guess, like, I mean, kindergarten. You know, that's you know, that's I think that's. I guess the same in most states. And here, what I'm saying is, I'm I, I'm from Lower Saxony, from Niedersachsen, so I will mostly talk about how the education system in in that state has been, and it varies from like state to state, as I said. So if it's different in your state, don't get mad at me. That's just how I grew up, and you can post in the comments how it was in your in your state, I guess. And I'm from Mississippi. Just go ahead, internet, <laughs> <laughs> just bring it on. I get it. So let's start at the beginning, I guess. Preschool, kindergarten, how do you guys start? All right, so we have, you know, private and public schools. And you have, in preschool, you have a lot of, like, churches that do preschools. How old are you when you go to preschool? Uh, four years old. Four years old, and, okay. Yeah, and that, I mean, you can go before, but that's kind of a daycare. Uh -huh. In preschool, it's really just about, like, getting associated with other children. Uh-huh. Um, I think you gotta know how to like write your name and color a little bit. And, Tie your shoes. Yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah. like just getting used to the routine of school that you're about to do for the next like 13 years of your and, life. Like, and getting used to being around kids, I guess. Right. Yeah, I think that's very similar to what we have as kindergarten, which is. A, oh for, no, well, we have kindergarten after preschool. Preschool is like one year, right? Yeah. Okay, and then you go to kindergarten. Mm -hmm. I think in Germany, that's. I mean, we have what I call them. Um, sorry, Kindertagesstätten, but that's like more from the age like one. I guess two or three, and I think kindergarten in Germany is mostly from the age of like three or rather four to six. Okay, so it's kind of a longer. Process. Yeah, I think like two years. I would guess is the average for kindergarten. Yeah, they sometimes hold people back in kindergarten here. Yeah. Um, if they have like a summer birthday, and uh -huh. a lot of times that's done for development reasons, um, or like sports. <laughs> sports. You know, like yeah. if you have if you know if you're like a little kid and you're just too small, mm -hmm. you're gonna be behind like the whole time. Right. So, but they'll hold you back if you try you know, have trouble with like, you know, simple math or ABCs okay. or something. It, it, it doesn't really out. reflect like in kindergarten like I don't think like intellect. I think mm -hmm. it's more just like, oh, were you born here, I mean, because think about it, like a four-year-old, there's a lot, there's a huge difference in like six months in their life. That's true, yeah, that's true. Okay, so so that's, but kindergarten is until six years, right? No, 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 no. I think kindergarten is one year, and then you go into first grade. So like you're four in preschool, then I guess five in kindergarten, uh -huh. and so then you'll be like, yeah, so six, yeah. Six, six years, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's about the same. So elementary school, right? I think that is something that is almost the same all over Germany. Grundschule, elementary school, from first, fourth grade, sometimes to sixth grade, I think, but usually it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's the same way here, uh, just depending on the size of school you go to. Uh -huh. Sometimes fifth and sixth grade is broken up differently, uh -huh. um, and sometimes it's not. I went to school um, kindergarten through sixth grade. Okay, it's pretty much the same school. Mm -hmm. um, but you know that it's you know it varies. There's lots of different options, but the concepts pretty s same. Okay. And then. It, Ooh, after fourth grade, <laughs> so how about let's start with the with the states. After the fourth grade, you or sometimes sixth grade, right? Mm -hmm. You would probably go to junior high school, right? Right. Yeah, middle school, junior high. That's uh, like I said, depending where you are, uh, sixth through like ninth grade or sixth through eighth grade. Some high schools are ninth through twelfth. Some are tenth through twelfth. Okay, so. And then junior, do you have any options after elementary? You you gotta go to either middle school or junior high. Do they are they is it basically the same like middle school or junior high? Or there they... is like very very limited options. Uh -huh. um, for the most part, you just go into a normal academic junior high. Uh, but there are like fine arts schools, okay, uh, or like advanced schools. Yeah, but very very few of those. I mean, that's not very common at all. Okay, good. And then okay, and in Germany. In Germany, it's really, 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 um, well, I don't know. After fourth grade, sometimes after sixth grade, you're being split up into different school systems, basically. So there is, um, I think, four different ones. 
and like three different, I guess, like levels. There's the Hauptschule, which is like the lowest level, I guess. Mm. Then there's the Realschule, which is the, you know, middle level, I guess. Like the level sounds weird, but just like, I guess, from like a requirement. Of, and this is all like... Uh, from test scores and it's from your from your results from elementary basically right it's not like a special test you do it's just from your last i guess that's just your academic standing yeah for elementary yeah, yeah, yeah exactly okay. i mean i think probably the last year really counts the fourth okay. grade and that's also and then so we have the hauptschule Realschule, and then there's the gymnasium the gymnasium where americans do sports that's where we go to school <laughs> yeah and gymnasium is by far the most famous like concept here like uh, yeah i don't I mean, think a lot of people know about the splits right and so the gymnasium was um like the i guess the most difficult level to go to and um it's so crazy though if you think about it after four years um the kids are being split up and once you're in one of those schools i mean you can you know you can switch in between but especially if you want to go from realschule to gymnasium to the highest level it's very difficult and it in my experience, it doesn't happen very often. So, to say you're stuck in a certain system is perhaps a little too harsh. But you know, after if you're ten years old, fourth grade, it's very, very important. You know, it's a very important step, I guess, in life. And it's a lot of pressure on the kids, also. I think that's to me as American. Just I think that's crazy to me. I, <laughs> I, mean, I just I think of myself like when I'm ten years old, and I was so much more interested being outside and playing and. You know, there was one point where we, we take achievement tests mm -hmm. where I was from. And I literally took the achievement test and checkered the whole thing so I could just not have to take it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, the teacher discovered what I did, got in trouble, had to retake it. But, like, okay. you know, it wasn't going to, you know, mess Have any yeah. effect? Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, it would affect me a little bit. They're like, oh, Jim can't read or write <laughs> or, or, or anything. Maybe he re needs to do fourth grade again. Yeah. But it wasn't going to, I mean, I don't know if this is fair to say not, but put me into a different social class okay. for the rest of my life. And that's kind of the way I view it. No. I mean, is that, no. is that unfair? It's perhaps a little unfair, but there's a little truth in that, I guess. Um... Again, you can't. I mean, I've I've had like I guess in my year when I when I I went to the gymnasium to like a, a private gymnasium, and uh, I think there were two people in my class in my year basically that came from the Realschule and you know made the way to gymnasium. Um, but yeah, you are you are in a certain direction yeah. after fourth grade. What else? So if you're in basically the third tier. Mm -hmm. What what's the next? Let's go from there. Like what's the ne like what's their career path or not or their education path? Well, I mean, if you if you go to the Hauptschule, you can uh, and that varies, I think, a little bit from state to state. But you can finish Hauptschule after ninth grade, or I think tenth grade. I hope this is right. And what you usually do then is you go to what is called Berufsschule, which is you know something that prepares you for the job, or you go right into an uh, an apprenticeship. What would the job be like? What what type of job? Um, I guess something, uh, probably labor work, labor like, work. Uh, okay. like blue collar work probably. Um, you know, apprenticeship could be like something in the crafts direction. Um, and this is a different topic. Apprenticeships in Germany versus like in the U.S. Yeah. are completely different. Yeah, um, they take a long time in Germany. Like a normal apprenticeship takes like three years to get and uh, like, well, to finish, I guess. Right. And so, um, yeah, probably a lot of labor work and then some apprenticeships and, um, Yes, and sometimes people stay like for longer than like a year at the what is called Berufsschule, mm -hmm. like preparation for the job basically. Um, yeah, you can go to that. And uh, but it's gotten really, really difficult for people who graduate from 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 Hauptschule to get jobs because um, very often for apprenticeships, for example, like the companies that are, they require a Realschule Abschluss and sometimes even the Abitur, like the gymna the highest level basically. So. Yeah, it's very, very difficult to... Is it... What is... What's the split? Like, through the high school you went to, was it when you're... If, I don't know if you can even remember, but, like, is it, like, 33, 33, 33? Is it top 20% um, or... I'm not sure. I think it's a little... I mean, I'm, it's probably a little more than... I think it's 40 or 50% that go to gymnasium uh, or gymnasium. Not sure about the other two ones. I really don't know. Okay, but so, like, 50% will get into gymnasium. I think about 40, 50%, I think, yeah. Okay. We do have something that is called Gesamtschule. And that's basically those three levels combined. So they are all, you have the Hauptschule, the Realschule, and the Gymnasium are all, like, all those students are in the same school. 
and I guess you just have like different um, levels. Okay. And is that is that weird? Is it? No, I mean I, I actually I didn't I, I didn't go to one, so I don't really know. But and I, mean, and I mean weird in the sense of like socially like weird like. Because I don't think so. I mean it's probably probably a good idea to put you know all students together. Yeah, we in the high school I went to, you had regular classes, you had honor classes, and you have AP classes. Right. So this is like it, different it, levels, I guess. Right. Right, and and you're integrated all a little bit together. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, because some classes, you know, I mean, I guess you could take a like a now I'm just drawing a blank like a honors accounting or something mm -hmm. but you know for the most part that made just everyone's in there or you know okay u.s history you know it's okay. pretty much the same class but like for mathematics or some science even history um you may have an ap class which is a little what does ap mean oh god it's uh, just the highest level yeah of, okay. i should know what ap stands doesn't matter. for doesn't matter. But anyway but what an ap class is is at the end of the year you sit down and you take a test mm -hmm. and uh if you score high enough on the test you get college credit Okay, so that means you can actually, you can apply for college. Well, you can use, you can apply that class. So, like, I didn't have to take U.S. history when mm -hmm. I went to college because I had scored on the AP test. Okay. Like that. And I'm not, I didn't take uh, AP U.S. history. I'm just using that as an example. You okay. Know? Mm -hmm. So, but if I had and I had scored high enough, then you wouldn't have to do it. Okay. So, but would that mean you could only for that subject would, like, qualify you for college or just in general? Oh, no, that doesn't qualify you for college. Okay. That just qualifies you, like, you don't have to spend time taking class on that on that subject when you enter in as a freshman because... The freshman is the first year of college, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and because our freshman classes are so much different than y'all's, your people, you take a very broad... Um, right broad approach your right. freshman year. Let's see, before we get into college, let's uh, go back again to public and private schools in the U.S. and in right. Germany, right? So I, um, so you went to a private school? I went school? to a private school, Okay. Yeah. But what is like, what is the, I guess, the, um, well, the image of pro public and private schools in the U.S.? Well, I think it's re it's definitely where you live. Okay. Um, you know, and that's kind of, it's not the best answer, but a great documentary is Waiting on Superman. It's about education. Yeah. And uh, just anyone out there, just it's on Netflix. You can find it on the internet. So really, to, to get more into the public school system in okay. the U.S. But some public school s systems are wonderful. Okay. And then some aren't. And, and, <laughs> okay. and you know, and I'd, I don't want to put a percentage on it one way or the other. The area in which I grew up, it private school was probably the better option. Okay. Um, and, but, you know, it's, I don't know, this always kind of depends where you grow up. Right, right. Okay. And, and it's also financially, private schools can be, be really expensive. Okay. Yeah, you know, so it's, I mean, I live in an area now where... Um, private high schools are kind of really expensive. Mm -hmm. okay. Private schools, I mean, I, I have a friend right now who's a uh, little girl's going into first grade and they're... His daughter? Yeah, and uh, it's over 15000 the first year for elementary school mm -hmm. for the first grade of element fifteen thousand mm -hmm. yeah. dollars and you can obviously find a lot cheaper options than uh -huh. that uh, but you know you can get the best of the best if you want it if you want to pony up that money <laughs> um or you can go to you know more reasonable schools right yeah i've n i don't know if they're like there probably are private elementary schools in germany but mm, not many i don't know I, i've never heard of one actually but there probably are i guess but um I would, like I went to a private like school that was like actually like a Catholic private gymnasium, um, so it was like a Christian under like a Christian hood I guess, um, and um, I mean you know the two there there was tuition but it was not like crazy expensive I mean I don't know how much it was but it was you know I don't know like probably a hundred euros a month or fifty euros a month or something I'm not sure. Yeah, very different here. Private schools can get very expensive. Very right? expensive. Yeah. yeah, and then and then public schools in Germany I think are are also like. They have have a good, I guess, like a good reputation. I mean, I, I mean, I think it's probably the same where you have really good public schools. Mm -hmm. Then there's some areas where the public schools are not as good, but you probably also have like private schools that are not as great. Right, exactly. You know, not every private school is a diamond in the rough here either. You know, so it's you know it's one of those things. It's circumstantial, definitely. Like the area in yeah. which you are in the city. That's why I really just recommend you know. You know, we would love to give really clear answers, but it's very, very difficult. Yeah, no, it's so hard for the education because you, I, I don't want to insult anyone. Like, right, like I went to public school and I'm so educated. <laughs> like, I went, you know, it's like, 
it's really not about that. No. It's just there are good schools, there are bad schools. Some happen to be public, some happen to be private. Right. So now we've kind of you know talked a little bit about like I guess the the structure of the school system. Let's talk about a little bit more fun things, like things like the daily life in a German and American high school slash gymnasium. I mean, we can talk about that or sports or, or sports and American or partying. schools. I mean. <laughs> I think, too, like, socially, high school is very interesting because you always have all the stereotypical, like, American movies. And, yes. And I haven't really seen... Well, it's, I, it's a lot of football. And for, to me, like, for me, like, a stereotype of American high school is very much about cheerleading and football. Yeah, like, it's... Sports are really important in mm -hmm. American high school, uh, especially when you're from a smaller town and that school carries more weight, you know, for, like, mm -hmm. oh, the city doesn't really... Everyone's going to be at the game on Friday. Texas is a perfect example. High school football is huge there. In the South, where I'm from, overall, sports are very big mm -hmm. for high schools. Um, and everything's wrapped around that, like dances, Sadie Hawken, winter formal. Like Everything's around some type of ball game. Okay. And so, like for example, like if you are in like a city somewhere in the South, I guess, or anywhere, and you have like a football team, like a high school football team, would like most people in the city know who's the quarterback, for example? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah so you'll get. Yeah. It's uh, so if you're you know the quarterback or running back or you yeah. know like a really good player, people will know who you are. I mean, newspapers will cover you. You'll be on the local news. Uh -huh. and different things like that. So yeah, you're you're known for you know. And it, just think of our sports structure, like in college, like once like they continue yeah, yeah, yeah. in, it just There's so much money yeah. in there as well. Whereas in Germany, like high school wise sports team. I mean, we had like some soccer tournaments, and I guess we think we had some like tennis and volleyball tournaments with other other schools, but it was like just like sometimes and not like a regular league or anything. No one would come and like watch it. It was just us playing basically. So, but there might be you know other schools out there that have this kind of like com competitive sports. I guess, I guess you yeah, know, the, like the way ours was structured is we play other high schools. Um, in our state, yes, and so in the we, entire state, in the entire state. So, and it had divisions. So, b d depending on like the size of the school, you were anything from like a s class A to like five or six A, depending. And then you would fall. They, I'm not really quite sure how they do this. I think it was the number of male students actually. Yeah. So they could weigh like how big like the football teams were going to be. Okay. Um, I think that's right. If it's wrong, I'm sorry, but. And so then, depending on your class, you would play other teams in your class, and then, you know, you'd have divisions. Okay, and okay, okay. Everything like that. Yeah, that, that kind of structure I don't think exists in, in German, like, gymnasium, like, sports, or in Realschule and Hauptschule. I don't know. I don't think that's, that's a big thing. Homeschooling is another interesting topic. There was actually a German family um, that tried to homeschool their children in Germany, and they were not allowed to do that like you know like you can't homeschool in germany it's forbidden by law so what like they, anywhere anywhere yeah you can homeschool oh wow yeah, okay can homeschool so what they did is where they they got fined by the government i guess like several times and they they, just, they were just like no well we're just gonna go to the united states of america so actually they, yeah. they moved over to the united states of america and i think they've have, they had been here i have been here for like a year or a year and a half but now the united states are kicking them out and i think it's in court right now whether or not, you know, the right to choose for your children's education, which you have in the German constitution, you know, how far that goes, basically. Very interesting, like, yeah, discussion. Yeah, here you can homeschool, and it falls under many different categories, um, mm -hmm. either religious, or um, if people are traveling all the time, yeah. or, you know, if they're unhappy with the school system, or if they're big athletes. Um, Tim Tebow is, you know, a pretty big name in American sports. American uh, football. He, right. He was homeschooled, um, mm -hmm. but he played football at a big uh, high school in Florida. Okay. Uh, but he's homeschooled for whatever reason. Um, okay. And then sometimes you run into that where, like, athletes will be homeschooled. Mm -hmm. and I mean, I think, that, I mean, there's also, like, sports academies in Europe for soccer. Right. right. Um, which is a little different than homeschooling, but there's kind of the same stuff here. Right. And, then, and sometimes people will just get really frustrated with the school system and they'll pull out and... You have a story about that, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, like one of my friends, like they were in school and the school was pretty small. Yeah. And so there just wasn't enough room for the school. And so basically what happened... For the students or... Right. Yeah. And so what happened, the students, like parents got really angry and they pulled him out of school and then they pulled like six other people 
and they made their own school like through accredited. So it was accredited. Oh, okay. So it wasn't just like you know. Because it's like one of the moms or dads was like teacher, it, I guess. Right, or? Teaching, and then you had like different teachers, and then there's programs you can go through uh -huh. to actually get accreditation. So someone monitors your homeschooling to make sure they're not just hanging out like Plan N64. Okay. That's and, cool. And, and, and so, that was that wasn't the pool house of that family, right? Right, and That's so awesome. So you put you pulled out, had like a year off, and then mm. uh, was like back in school. Okay. Uh, one thing also in like American high schools is you run into uniforms, you know, and I don't think that's something y'all probably have. Um, I don't know. I, I think there are some schools that have uniforms. It's probably private schools. Among 30 developed countries, we rank 25th in math and 21st in science. In almost every category, we've fallen behind, except one. Kids from the USA rank number one in confidence.